go into this work. Like I want today to be like so empowering um, and feel really good. And what I do is when I jump into it, my body is not like, like it. So we're gonna ease into it like we usually do. Um, I'm gonna be playing with this a little bit uh, in the future to see how it looks like to go a little bit faster. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start bridging. So I want you to go ahead and tuck your tailbone and I want you to lift your hips up. And then when you move down, I'm gonna make this dramatic. I wanna kick my heels towards my butt and lengthen and lay myself down. I'm gonna move my feet, I'm gonna roll myself up and I wanna kick my heels towards my butt and I wanna lengthen and lay myself back down. So hopefully you kind of get the visual. I'm gonna bridge back up and I'm gonna lengthen so I get a lot of torso. So now I'm gonna make that happen inside of me but it's not gonna be quite so dramatic as I go down. I'm gonna pull, if I pull that hard it makes my hamstrings wanna help. And I'm just gonna get things moving. And I'm gonna do one more. Good morning backside, you were sleepy and rest. All right. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sit onto my tailbone versus on my low pant line, okay? Just kind of like setting my day off really good. And then I'm gonna take my hands up to the ceiling and like we would do on the foam roller, I'm gonna reach up and then I'm gonna pull back. And when I do, it does allow me to lift my ribs a little bit today. Now sometimes I fight that urge, but today I'm just gonna let it ride. Cause there's no perfect key for everything, which is kind of cool. Good night. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stop somewhere in the middle and then I'm gonna reach my hands up and overhead and I'm gonna do a big stretch, of course it's a catch, and then back up. And then I'm gonna reach, big stretch, and back up. Good morning, body. I'm ready to move you. I drank coffee, so hopefully words come out clear. And one more. Good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my arms, I'm gonna go out to the side. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. On the foam roller, it's more profound, but I'm gonna open my chest up and relax. I want to open my chest up by pulling my shoulders. Now again, I'm setting this intention that when my hands go here, I can pull my ribs and open my chest, but being able just to play with that motion while we're here. Okay, there is a thing called a fish that I've taken in yoga that I'm going to mess up a little bit, but it's somewhere along the lines where you can tuck your hands under and you can arch your back a little bit and lift your chest up. So I'm just going to open up a little bit. I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. I just want you to kind of do a little back extension way on the floor because we're gonna be curled in a lot. Okay, cool. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle back and forth. That being said, on the transition on our bodies, so like it's really obvious to use your legs when you rock, walk and run, like that's obviously we gotta do that. So what we're doing is we're making the controls go from our legs strictly or, or dominantly and sharing it with the whole body, okay? You guys know this, I've said this just a different way, so I'm gonna say it again. If you guys have been uh, sitting for work or if you've been walking a lot, that can affect how this transmutes um, electricity and energy. So yeah, we're gonna be, so at any point, all that's tell you is if you were to get like tired of having your legs up, uh, go ahead and set them down, shift them back and forth, and that'll help kind of like shut them off and then take it back into here, okay? Um, and the reason why I tend to start like this is because I too have a lazy torso. So, and my legs are, I feel really confident with them. So just resetting being like, okay, well I was overconfident with my legs. Now I'm confident with my insides. Um, and I can actually squeeze inside and I can make everything happen because of the flexion work that we do. And I hope that that's kind of the gift that you're giving yourself and that we're kind of sharing that uh, synergy on so that that exhaustion and fatigue is so that you could create from within. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you're sitting on your tailbone. Uh, check the front of your hip bones, and if you can press into the floor without firing the muscle in the front of your hip bone, that's good stuff. I can fire the muscle if I scoop under. Um, that's a little bit more into the psoas. Um, so again, trying to sit out on the tailbone. And that takes a second of intimacy with your with your hip bones to feel like, okay, that's what's happening there. But I, I it's an investment worth investing in. So that's why I keep bringing it up. So I can push into my heels and I can keep my psoas off. When my right side was dysfunctional, like highly dysfunctional, my psoas would fire every time I would do a bridge until I got to the very height of heights, okay? So, all right, that's enough of a lecture. I'll go ahead and bring my hands. I'm gonna swim behind my head. I'm gonna bring my elbows up to the side. We're gonna start with just our ribs um, and head down. So I'm gonna breathe in, I'm gonna fill up my lungs. I'll try to make it visual and I'm gonna pull everything to the floor. And I'll breathe in. All right, so um, this is what it looks like for me. I don't, uh, and you can't quite see yourself per se. When I fill up my lungs from the front, and that's great. 
And I want to be able to use that expiration muscles to kind of heal. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like when I try to fill up the back of my lungs. So I'm going to keep this the best I can. I'm going to fill up the back of my lungs like into the floor and exhale. And hopefully you can see a little more lateral shifting. It's just shadows really. But I feel like I have a bigger grip here. So I'm going to talk about breathing into the back of your lungs today. All right, do that about two more times. Relax your neck. Good. And then we're going to go ahead and start adding our flexion. So if you could breathe into the floor and then exhale and then allow yourself to curl up. Check your landscape that you kept your pelvis from tucking under because that'll create that poop there. Try to keep it nice and long and then set it back down. And then do the same thing and then back down. Good. And exhale as you curl up. Inhale as you go down. Exhale. Three. I mean, that's four. Sorry. I can't miscount this thoroughly. Five. Six. Seven. And you're sitting on your tailbone, eight, and we'll get little pulses from the inside for eight, seven, six. It's almost like I'm dragging my heels back like we talked about before, so I have that maximal length. Good, and then I'll twist towards the camera, and then back to the center, and then back towards the camera today. I alternate a lot, but today I'm gonna stay a little more on one side. Three, four, five, six, and I want you to imagine, can you see inside of yourself and just imagine what those gears are doing in there. Good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and twist and I'm gonna march that leg up. We're gonna add a little twist and march and set it down. It's gonna be modest, we're not gonna do anything crazy yet. We're just connecting the dots right now. Three, four, five, inhale, exhale, six, good, seven, and eight. And then I'll set it down reestablish your pelvis if you need to, and then we're gonna go the other way. Same stuff, I'm gonna twist. I really wanna make sure, I think you can see better on this side that I'm twisting, but I'm not like twisting from my feet, like not even a little bit, not, not even a little bit. I'm keeping this side heavy, three, so I'm twisting from my inside gears. Two, and one, and then I'll add that leg march. And I ideally would like to pull this and lift off the mat here. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then I'll come back to the middle. I'm gonna make sure my pelvis is right, and I'm gonna take my camera leg again. I'm gonna open it up to the side, and I'm gonna squeeze up and in. Same length, inhale, exhale. Now if you could imagine breathing into the back of your lungs, and then into the floor, inhale for four, and pull in. Now feel your heel, roll to the inside of your heel. Four. We're talking feet and ribs, I know, but this is the part that's moving. Well, I mean in the leg. Three, two, and one. And then I'll switch to the other side. I'm gonna inhale, exhale, collect collaboratively in the middle. Use the heel, roll it in. Three, four, five, exhale, six, seven, all right, now we're gonna do both legs. I want you to take them out to the side and squeeze and curl up. Eight, seven, squeezing in the midline is how we get up and up. Well, six, five, four, three, two, and then one. And then I'm gonna keep my feet down for today. I want you to regulate this as it starts to get tired, not to tuck under, but to sit on your tailbone, and we're gonna do the 100. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hands by my side, I'm gonna keep my feet down, and I want you to breathe in, two, three, four, five, and hollow out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in to the back of your lungs and hollow out. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in into the back of your lungs, and when you exhale, reach a little closer to your heels. Good, breathe in, and out. Sit on your tailbone, in, Hollow out, go a little higher, breathe in, and out. Kick your heels to your bottom, good. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, good, and out. Last one, and out, good. And I'm gonna swim my hands back behind my head. I'm gonna stay curled up, and I wanna use that same idea that when I add the legs into here, that I hollow out 
but not by tucking this cheese. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my camera again. I'm gonna march it up and then bring it back down. I'm gonna march it up and bring it back down. The other thing I'm paying attention to is sometimes I'm so guilty of this. I've been really noticing in my own practice is where I will hike my hip to get some length, but I wanna keep as much length through here. I want the shortening to occur from here, not from bone to bone. Not for this at least. Six, seven, and then I'll take the leg, I'm gonna send it out, I'm gonna boop the ground and bring it back in. Other things I'm doing is I'm trying to pull this down, okay? I have to think about it. Three, and it makes it more powerful for me. Four, five, and hopefully more powerful for you. Six, seven, and then we get our first taste of hamstrings by lifting up and then bringing it back down. I'm reaching through my toes to create energy, three, so that it's not pulling all back down into me. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm gonna add a twist, I'm gonna stair step down. So I'm gonna twist and then bring it back down. Twist, I've been booping the floor lately. Three, I'm gonna try and pull it in four. Lots to think about. Five, six, inhale, exhale, seven, and eight. And then I'll bend it in and then reach it out and boop the floor. One, nice and slow. Two, breathing into the floor. Three, good. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then I'll do femur arcs. So I'm gonna toe tap and bring it back down. So eight, yay, seven, six, five, curl up a little higher if you can for your forehead's gonna start getting tired. Three, two, now I'm gonna maintain that twist. I'm gonna look at you guys and I'm gonna add that little kick and back down. Now I'm gonna slide that bottom leg out if that doesn't feel good, just keep it bent. Three, I just wanna give you options here. Four, five. Now I'm pushing into the heel so my glutes stay on the side six without using my feet. Seven, I'm gonna hold the leg up and I'm gonna point flex for eight. Seven, I'm gonna go a little deeper. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna come back through the middle and I'm gonna do little circles from my core. One. Two. Now, being in this flexion helps override the psoas. If you want to lay your head down, you can. But I'm going to keep that burn. Three, two, and one. Then I'm going to reverse it. Eight, seven, six. Good job. Five, four, three, two. And then I'm going to bend it. And then I'm gonna slide this heel back in and I'm gonna do my femur arcs. So I'm gonna lift and lower. Lift, we're making this a long series. You guys are so strong. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'll take that free leg and I'm gonna send them out and I'm gonna boop the floor for one. Back in. Now remember, think cognitively. It's my right leg up. Think about what leg's up. So when we switch, then you're like, you're not like, oh my gosh, because we're doing a lot of mixed patterns. Four, three, two, and then I'm gonna go ahead and keep that leg straight and I'm gonna lift it straight up and then back down. That's good for eight. Nice, this has been a nice like little lighthouse seven to kind of keep us steady. Six, five, check your kneecap, make sure it's rolled towards you, four, and not like out or like really in. Three, two, and then now remember, think about what leg it is. Set everything down, Woo. wiggle it all out. If your legs were like heavy, do the windshield wiper thing here. Um, and then we're gonna get started on the other side. They should, like, so when we started, you probably were like, um, you could feel something, but now like when we get started, you're gonna be like, oh, it's already turned on. And that's the thing, we're building that resilience so we can turn it right on. So I'm gonna swing my hands behind my head. I wanna take a nice deep breath in first. I wanna fill up the floor and exhale. And again, let's do this three more times. Fill up the floor. Try to not tuck your tailbone. And by the way, 
perfect isn't a thing, so just it's like all the right places, okay? And the last one. Now I'm gonna inhale to the floor and I'm gonna exhale. I'm gonna curl up for eight. Check out your landscape. Back down. Curl up for seven. Six. I'm fully supporting my neck. Five. I'm so glad you guys are here this morning. Four. Three. Two. And then I'll stand. And then I'll take my other leg. This is my left now. Please switch sides. And then I'll lift it up. See, we got a nice little repertoire here. Three. And again, I'm paying attention. The thing was kind of helpful for me for so that I don't um, do like this. See how it feels from here and not actually from here? I know, I'm a little cheater. All right, so then I'm gonna send the leg out. I'm gonna book the floor and bring it back. I wanna curl up to get on top of my psoas because, you know, it connects. Three, four, five. I'm trying to make that effort to hollow out six. Guys, I'll show you. When I just let it go, sometimes it pops up. And then I'll go straight up. That's like how I know if my mind is wandering. Is if I bring it back to looking at my body, I'm like, ooh. Three. Four. Five. That's why I kind of talk to you guys through it. Six, try and keep you engaged. And now I'm gonna add that twist to it, okay? Uh, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna tap and I'm gonna add a twist and back down. Now that's why it's super important that we start the way we do so that I'm not twisting from here, like from this area, four, but I'm twisting from this area. Three, two, and one. And then I'll bend it and I'm gonna boot the floor and I'll bend it in, eight. Sitting on your tailbone, seven, six, boop, five, boop, four, fill in the blanks, yeah, three, two, and one, I'll do my finger arc, I'm gonna tap and lift for eight. Make sure it's as flat as you can, seven, six, five, four, try not to grip, three, two, and then I'm gonna stay twisted, and I'm gonna give that kick to one, two, three, now if you remember, it's optional, I'm gonna extend this leg out, four, I'm pushing into this heel to keep this steady and open. And I'm going to hold it up in point and flex for eight, seven, six, five, four. I'm going to come up through the middle and then I'm going to draw circles. You can set your head down, but I'm going to try and stay nice and solid through here, even if my head is down. Four, three, try not to rock, two, and one. And then I'll go the other way. Rocking would look like this. I'm gonna try and stay nice and solid like a statue. And so are you. Four, three, two, and one. Now if you remember, we bend this leg. I'm gonna bring this in, and then I'm gonna march it up for eight. Now it's all here, seven. So I'm making sure it's flat. Six, five, four, now. To prelude into what we're going to do next, six, open your shoulders because you're going to need them. And then I'll send the leg out and give a little boot for eight, seven, six, five, four, good, three, two. And then I'll keep the leg straight and I'm going to lift it up. Up for eight, seven, Six, watch your kneecap. Five, four, three, two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring my legs back to tabletop. And this is the part where I'm gonna go this direction, doesn't matter which direction you start, so you can see my side. I wanna open my shoulders and I wanna allow myself to twist. And I wanna pull my muscles back into the center. I'm gonna inhale to twist and exhale. Now this is your true thing. You can actually twist further if you're here, but we're gonna see how far we can go with our stability. I'm gonna inhale and exhale and squeeze for four. Squeeze your thighs, three, two, and one. And then of course I'll take it the other way. I'm gonna inhale, 
And exhale. Eight. Seven. Play a game with yourself. See how far you can go. Six. And if you fall, that's okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. And then I'm going to go ahead and reach on top of one, which is kind of a nice grip now instead of holding my head. And see how I pushed up a little bit? That's my little hollow body. And then I'm going to hug it in now that I'm a little hollowed. I'm going to give a pull, and then I'm going to switch and grab on the other. And I'm going to give a pull, and I'll switch and grab. Three. Four. If your neck were to get tired, go ahead and sit it down. Five. Six. Seven. And then I'll do straight leg. So I'm going to reach up. I'm going to grab behind my knee. Give a nice little pull, and then I'm going to switch and grab. Behind the knee, go ahead. Two. Three. Now I get less neck, four, the more hollow I am, the more my head's sitting on my chest. Six, seven, wait, that was eight. That was eight, that's okay. And then I'm gonna reach up a little bit higher and finish up for eight more. Eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, now I'm gonna go ahead and set my head down. And we're gonna go into some of those leg circles that we kind of practiced with this flexion. So I'm gonna go and start with my camera leg. So before, we had a leg down to hold us steady. Now all of our steadiness comes from here. So I want you to close your eyes. I want you to measure yourself into here. If you need support, you can put your hands on here, you can put the foam roller, or you can put a pillow. Okay, and that'll, that always helps. I'm um, gonna try and see what my body's capable of. So I'm gonna point my toes, I'm gonna take my camera leg, and I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna make it a big, beautiful circle. I gotta reach up. There's one. And again, now I'm gonna press my shoulders open, two, because we know that that helps. Ooh, three, four. Now what I'm preparing for is I've got a grip tight here, five. I'll show you what it looks like when I don't. Oh, six. It just becomes a pile of burritos. Seven, and now I'm gonna do that same pattern on the other side. I'm gonna reach through and I'm gonna drop it straight down and bring it around. We're not reversing circles because it's a hip popper. Two, and I'm avoiding that for today. Three, press your chest open. Four, and let your legs help you. Oh yeah, and a very important five, maybe that doesn't feel good. Maybe keep your knees bent as you do circles. Six, that's great. Seven. All right, and now we just magically got on, oh, onto the reformer. Okay, so if you've ever done reformer, we're gonna do this leg series, but if you have not, don't worry about it. Great time as you get tired to use your hands for support, pillow, etc. Other than that, you're gonna use your midsection and you're gonna stabilize. So if I have my feet in steps, I'm gonna reach them up towards the ceiling, and I'm gonna drop them down and pull in tight and bring it back up. I'm gonna exhale, and again, and again. Three, four, five. Remember that knee thing? Totally good to move with this. Six, that helps not fight the quad hamstring ratio. Seven. And next we go into circles. So I'm gonna go down, split at the bottom, and do a circle up and around. I'm gonna go down, hold your belly button, and circle two, three, Four, five, big circles, the best that you can. Six, seven, side note, reformer is a lot nicer to do this on. Eight, and then I'm gonna reverse my circles. I'm gonna bring it open, reach through the toes, hollow out your belly, and lift up. Open, this is two, and lift up. This is number three, and up. Four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, we're almost done, eight, and then I'm going to go to froggy, oh, it feels good, close the other toes apart, and I'm going to push and squeeze through my inner thighs, I'm going to inhale, exhale, pull and hollow out, three, four, I think why the reformer is nice is because you get to use your legs. Five, here you're just holding them up a lot. Six, it's so hard. Seven, 
And now we're gonna do a roll over long plank. Remember, anything's bothering you, pillow, all that. This is just to help challenge you, okay? And I'm gonna press gently into my arms and I'm gonna press and roll over. There's a couch here, which is handy. Um, from here, I'm gonna hold on my belly. I want my knees to be facing me and I'm gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time. Trying to control. And then I'm gonna do it again, okay? I'm gonna use, I'm trying not to rump things. I'm trying to like use the musculature and do it with control, which is, I highly recommend a couch, that's helpful. <laughs> if you have a foam roller at home, if your butt feels especially heavy, it does sometimes, you can use your hands to help. Uh, you also don't have to do this, so we're not gonna be here long, but I don't want you to do something that you're scared of or that's gonna hurt you. You wanna do stuff that makes you better. And when your body works right, this feels really good. So I'm speaking to the people new on the journey, but man, if you've been doing this, it feels so nice. Let's do two more. And let's one more. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and go into our teaser thing. Feet on the ground, perfectly good. I already have all the electricity here, so I don't wanna touch my feet to the ground. I'm gonna keep them up. I'm gonna bring my hands up and I wanna broaden my shoulders like we talked about. So I'm just taking them really wide and then I'm gonna go ahead and reach my arms over to the side and I'm gonna like pick up a bucket and then I'm gonna set it back down. And then I'll go to the other side. I'm gonna reach, pick up a bucket and go to the other side. Three. Now the bucket kind of needs to go further away. Can you reach a little further? Four. Five. Six. Well, it's not quite so, um, so forward, it feels a little bit. Hey, all right, so let's give our necks a second. Um, I'm gonna go ahead with my broad shoulders. I'm gonna take my camera arm and my opposite leg and I'm gonna reach away and I pull back up and I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna sit on my tailbone, two, versus being tucked under, unless that's better for your back and your so that's three, four, five, six, seven, now the grand duty. Um, here's what it's gonna look like. You can do it with me if you want to. We're gonna tease it, but I'm gonna swim. I'm gonna reach my hands overhead. I'm gonna integrate my ribs. I'm gonna circle and I'm gonna roll and I'm gonna sit up and reach. You can keep her like thin as well. Okay, so I'm gonna inhale. I'm gonna reach overhead. I'm gonna exhale. I'm gonna collect, sit out. I'm gonna lift up whoop, and then back down. I'm gonna open and reach. Now keep doing this if you're capable of it. If that is so stinking hard and doesn't even make sense, I want you to grab your legs and try to set yourself up instead. That's the starting part. However, if you can't have your legs up, I want you to keep doing that. I want you to see. And maybe you can't get all the way up and that's okay. Cause then what that would look like is like this. And that's how you get the body to know. Okay, let's do two more. One. Two. Okay, now if everybody could meet me at the top, um, we can always go down. That's always an option. I want you guys to always make these yours. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try and lay my torso down and then I'm gonna sit back up, but I'm gonna glue these here right in space. There, and if you have to put your feet on like an ottoman or a couch, do that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my torso down. I'm gonna swim. Ugh. Sorry, I didn't mean to grill. That just came out. I'm gonna set it down, squeezing my other side, and I'm gonna sit up. I'm gonna try not to push my legs out, but I can't make any promises. Ugh. Three. Four. If you can see me, I don't think you can see on the camera. I'm still a little shaky. Five, but I like it. I'm growing. Shaking is growing. Six. Two more, two more. Seven. Now can you see up? We're gonna mimic. I'm gonna grab, pull it in, and I'm gonna switch. Grab, pull it in, switch. Three, four, five. You can do this leg now. Six, seven, and now we're gonna do straight legs. Reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull. Okay, I got four more. Four, three, two, one. How about that's enough? Good, done. Okay, so now I'm gonna roll some ways. I have not done this uh, series for a long time and I thought it'd be kind of fun, something to do. Okay, I've done this series, okay? But hear me out. 
the shoulder, I'm gonna ease into the shoulder girdle. I prefer that you would lay down and do this, checking in on things. How bad bar? Because I like also am mentally unstimulated if I do the same stuff over and over. There's a line where you can get better at it and there's a line where it's like confusing, it's too much. So lay down or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay propped up. I'm gonna add an angle and I'm gonna go ahead and lift and lower. It'll create a different angle on here. However, I just wanna make sure that your shoulders like don't get this all icky, okay? You don't come to Pilates to feel like crap. Okay, so I'm gonna pull my shoulder. Um, if you are propped up, I'm gonna pull through here and I'm gonna put a little bit of activity. I'm not full on lifting, but I do have activity through the bottom knee and I'm gonna rotate open and we're gonna follow the same structure. Good, and I rotate open. I'm gluing my heels together, three, and really important, I'm really not tipping back. That's gonna do me no bueno. And I'll go four, three, and I'll squeeze shut, pulling everything in, two, and one. And then we pulse, one, two, three, four, good job, five, six. And then of course we rotate knee heel, so I'm gonna rotate one, and I got my little cord in here, pulling the muscles in, three, we're looking good guys five six and I'm trying really hard right to work this I'm not putting pressure in here all right I'm gonna lift my heels up and I'm gonna open for diamond one yeah I know you can do the same thing this position is awesome three four and I hope you can see I'm still squeezing five I know it's like not the first thought six seven now if you are propped up be careful with your femur angle okay it's not like this is obviously straight when you're down. Just be careful, not to have energy. I'm gonna bring it into my chest and I'm gonna press behind me, opening up. I'm gonna inhale forward. I wanna be pillar parallel with the floor, but I'm gonna try and check. And again, three. Be helpful with your angles. Four. Five. And if you're laying on the ground, then you just do the regular stuff. Six. Again, a little pressure through my bottom leg. Seven. And, and then I'm gonna extend the leg straight. I'm gonna stretch it forward and I'm gonna squeeze back. Ah, stretch it forward. I always point, because it's an afterthought for me. Sometimes it was, it was, I was like, oh yeah. But we worked so hard on it this morning. Four, I don't want it to be an afterthought. Open up and reach, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into bicycles. So I'm gonna bring it in, I'm gonna kick it forward and I'm gonna draw it back. I'm gonna bring it in, kick it forward, draw back two, three, four, five. Stretch a little more towards me. Reach, six, seven, and eight. Now can you reverse it? Can you bring it forward, bend, and push it back? If you're laying down, you're good. If you're propped up, check in with your shoulders and make sure that you didn't get sinky, okay? Four, Five, call it turtling when you're like, yeah, six, seven, and then I'm gonna hold my leg all the way forward. I'm gonna bend and give it a kick. Bend, give it a kick. Two, three, good. Squeeze your inner thigh a little. Four, five, six, seven, and then I'll keep my leg straight and finish up. I'm gonna set it down and lift up for eight. Oh, seven, good, go a little higher, believe in yourself. Six, five, oh, gotta check on my shoulders, four, three, two, and one, good. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna join the club and lay down. Um, we haven't done that, I haven't done this one for a while either, but I was like, hmm, how do I keep them stimulated? So I'm gonna take that leg, I'm gonna bring it back, and then I'm gonna bring this leg forward. This will help with those um, pull stuff things, if that, uh, Ivan. So I'm gonna reach through my heel, and I wanna fire this muscle in over here. We do it like this, but it's not as like profound as like this, okay? So I'm gonna flex my foot. This booty should be grounded and nice and stable, and I'm going to lift. See if you can see it today. I'm breathing into the floor, and I'm lifting from like this cross leg here. I don't go four, oh, too much. Three, two, okay, I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna pulse. I'm gonna go a little higher. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and I'm gonna circle. One. Oh, we've done circles all day. You're gonna be so good at circles too. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're gonna reverse. You're gonna come up, big beautiful circles for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good, two, and one. Now I'm gonna take this back leg. I'm gonna bring him in front. I do kind of have to hold on to my ankle or else my foot wants to slide like this. It's a thing. So then from here, I'm gonna open my knee up the best I can. Uh, this will help stretch out and it's a little pretzel-esque. I'm gonna bring my inner thigh up to the apex. So I'm gonna lift and lower. Stay away. Lift and lower. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, and then I'm gonna pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold really tight for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, I'll set it down. Good. Ooh, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring this hand in front. And I'm gonna use this part to help lift. I'm gonna press and I'm gonna get some height and I'm gonna roll back down. Press, you'll get a rhythm. I know you guys know how to do this one really good. Three, four, like the side teaser. Three, two, I count up and then I count down a lot. Please for rolling with me. All right, next I'm gonna add one leg. I'm gonna keep my elbow bent today. I've kind of been liking that, elbow to knee. But what we were doing is reaching, which is great too, if that feels better. Three, I think in my head makes me feel like I go further. Four. If that doesn't work on your shoulder, by the way, guys, just you always have options. I always wanted to you to make it yours. Eat here or in the studio. All right, and then the last thing we're gonna do, same uh, double leg or single leg again. So I'm gonna lift, and then let's talk about options. Knee tucks are good too. Three, four, five, six, seven. Before I switch sides, I'm gonna go ahead and do the kneeling up. It's the one we haven't done for a long time as well. So I'm gonna go on to all fours. Um, I wanna start again with the integration of this. I think often I like dissect this, this, like when I was in fitness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach my hands up first. I'm gonna go the same direction that my head was and I'm gonna go ahead and tap the crown. I'm gonna reach up and I'm gonna use my muscles and bring it back up. I'm gonna tap, reach, and bring myself up. That should feel kinda nice. Can you reach? And then can you pull your shoulders down and wide? We got four, and back up. Three, back up, good. Two, and last one. Okay, so now I'm gonna stay down, but I want that same lengthening effect. And then I'm gonna reach this leg on. I know this one. Uh, fingers are not gonna help me, so I'm gonna go all the way to my palm. But notice, and I hope this shit's starting to be beautiful, that my um, shoulder is underneath my chest and it's not like by my ear, okay? That's gonna make your shoulder so tired, so stinking fast. I wanna be able to use these twisting muscles. I'm gonna flex and I'm gonna lift. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a little boxy. That's the way I was born. But it's really gratifying to like know how to work what's inside. Four. Um, the other thing, guys, if you are like me and hypermobile, we will sink into the bottom hip. Make sure that you stay lifted, even if it doesn't go very high. Then I'm gonna hold it up and pulse. One, okay, I'm lifted. I am a sunken. Good. I'm gonna point and draw circles. One, two, good. Open your chest. Three, four. If you need to soften, that's fine. Six, seven, and reverse. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm gonna reach up and overhead. I'm gonna bring my knee to my elbow like this. One, and I'm gonna reach. Two, and reach. Three, four, five, six, seven. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go forward, okay? So I'm gonna reach forward for eight, and up, 
seven. If I were bent legs, it would look like this. Five, four, three, stretch, two, one. Good job. Take a second. If you have water, get some water. I'm gonna mess my hair up already. That's okay. It's not a requisite for this. And then, I, if you don't remember, that's okay, because I remember. We'll start laying down, make sure I'm good on time. Yeah, we're gonna do so perfect. And I'm meeting the challenge to not do the same routines all the time, because that's so silly. And I worked all the time in the studio. I don't know why sometimes being camera makes me nervous. Okay, so we'll start laying down. Um, this is the option. Now what we did, I like the sliding better, my muscles look better, um, <laughs> is I'm gonna stay propped up. Again, I'm pulling my shoulder down to keep that, to fight that hypermobility. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate open and close. Two, I'm pulling in. Three, four, five, six. Oh, and if you're naughty like me, I will also lean back, so which does not help. And then I'll pulse. One, two, three, four, good. Five, I'm speaking power into you and just things to work for. I'm gonna rotate knee heel. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll go ahead and lift my heels up. So I'm gonna reach them up and I'm gonna rotate open. Oh, two, I gotta really focus on my funny side. Three, four, squeeze back sharp, five, squeeze sharp, six, seven, and eight. And then I'll set it down. I'm gonna hover the leg, I'm gonna pull it in towards my chest, and I'm gonna press and open up, pulling this in. Inhaling and exhaling. Two, three, whoop, four, paying attention to this side, even though this is not moving. Six, seven, and eight. Then I'll extend my leg. I'm gonna stretch it forward and I'm gonna draw and lengthen for eight, seven, six, good, five. I got a nice little breeze. Four, the window's open, it's nice. Three, two, and then I'll go into bicycles. I'm gonna bring it in, reach it forward and squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then I'm going to reverse it. I'll bring it forward, I'm gonna bend and I'm gonna drive it back for eight, seven, six, five, four. Well, I hope you guys have um, a great day, three, Two, I watched Magic for Humans on Netflix last night. One, and I'll go forward, and I'm gonna bend a kick. And it is so funny, if you haven't seen it, he's a magician, but it's like, uh, it's hard to explain. It's like real life, eh, magic. Um, but he goes around in town and meets strangers on the street, and it's so funny. Okay, last thing, I'm gonna keep my leg straight, and I'm gonna set it down and lift for eight. So you need a little pick-me-up, something not so like depressing. Magic for Humans is really funny. Good, four. Three, two, two, and one. Good, I'll set it down. I'm gonna bring myself all the way to the floor. If you were already on the floor, good, we're, we're joining you. This leg goes back, I'm gonna get the stability, and I'm gonna lengthen out. Again, I'm connecting my inner thigh into like this little crossing. So I'm gonna squeeze and lift. I'm gonna squeeze, I'm gonna move my hands out of the way so you can see. Try, three, that feels weird, feels douchey. Four, five, Six, good, I love how high you're going. I can't really see you, but I believe in you. All right, I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna pulse, bringing it towards your forehead. Two, three, four, five. Sorry, I'm gonna move my hand. Six, seven, I'm gonna point and circle. My shoulders are broad, so I'm not gonna roll around like a roller pulley. One, two, three, four, five, good job. Four, I'm scooping five, Six, seven, and eight, and then I'm gonna reverse it. Eight, ooh, seven, making sure I'm not popping. Six, honoring my range of motion. Five, four, three, two, one. And then I'm gonna sit down, 
I'm gonna bring this leg in the front here. I'm gonna do that little twisty too. We already talked about that. And I'm gonna lift up for eight, seven. This leg is staying better. So, you know why? Because the side's lazy. Five. <laughs> there's wins here. Four, there's a silver lining. Three. But you know, he's been better. I'm hard on him, but. And then I'll hold it up and pulse one. But like, he's really, he's pretty good. He's functional, he doesn't cause me any pain. I just know he lags a little. And I'll hold it really high for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then I'll set it down. Good. And then we're gonna do on our side up part. So I'm gonna come through here. I'm gonna pull my hands here. I'm gonna press into this. I'm gonna lift and back down for eight, seven, six. I'm trying to slide out of that shoulder. Four, three. Reach through your toes, two. And one. Now I'm gonna add one leg. I'm gonna keep my arm bent. I've been liking this lately, but you can reach up one. Oh, gotta pay attention to the bottom shoulder, two. Open your chest, present three, four. It's good for your anatomy, five. It makes you look brave. Six, seven, and eight. Now single leg or double leg. I like to give you options or bent leg. But I also like want to push you three because I want you to see like, oh my gosh, I'm capable of things. I wasn't sure I was. Three. Two, one, perfect. Now we get to go to the kneeling puppy, which kind of excites me. So I don't have to hold my legs up, I get to be on them. So I'm in this position, doo -doo. I would also recommend, uh, not like this, make sure you're stacked really tall, okay? Really tall, belly button in all, as all things. I'm gonna reach and I'll go the other way. So I'm gonna lengthen, stretch, and I'm gonna squeeze myself up. I'm gonna inhale, opening up the lat, and squeeze. This side's a little tighter. Three. That's good though. Have something to work on. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And the last one. Eight. I'm gonna come back up before I plant myself. I'm gonna plant myself on purpose. I'm gonna make a little space. I'm gonna make sure I'm shifted over um, all my good stabilizing parts. And then I'll look at myself not sinking, but lifting through here. I'm gonna go ahead and open, open, lift, two, good, three. I can feel four movement in here as well when it's in here. Five, six, seven. All right, now I'm gonna pulse one, two, three. If you feel hip flexor angle back a little, okay? Make it yours. And then I'm gonna point and draw circles. And you can always have the option to bend that leg so you don't get so much quad. Four. If you do, I don't. But I have in my past life. And then reverse. In my 20s. In my 20s. Three. Higher now. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Now I'm going to reach overhead and I'm going to pull my knee to elbow and then extend. And I'm going to pull two and reach, three, reach, four, five, six, seven, and then I'm gonna go forward to finish up. Four for eight, if you have a bent leg like that, seven, six, five, four, reach, three, two, and one. Good job, get off your wrist, shake it out a little bit, shake, 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 shake. Perfect, and that leads us onto our encore where we're gonna stretch. If you did things, hopefully you feel like you did work, but you're not dead, because dying is no fun. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my ribs in tight. I wanna pull my hands on my pelvis. Um, so I'm gonna step. If you don't wanna do this, I would rather you just go into this position, okay? And we'll meet you there in one second. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze the tire part. I'm gonna pull my shoulders back and I'm gonna open my chest. If it feels good, you can lean back. Um, you can also put your hands here, that's a thing, and then bring yourself back up right. We've been doing this in aerial. I've been training to other things where I open and bring it back up. A lot of our work is forward, but if you bias towards forward, yeah. Our hands can stay down. Don't like this, go ahead and go down. I'm gonna zip. 
Um, now let's go ahead and go to the floor. When the other people sit down here, I want to hollow out my body and I'm going to lengthen. Good. Now what I'm kind of doing is I'm going to try and put my ears below my shoulders, but not from my neck, but by pushing below. Guys, all those push-ups we did the other day, I can feel my muscles. It feels good. Mm -hmm. Alright. Then I'm going to bring myself back up, and then I'm going to take my hands behind my back, and I want to try not to, right? I want to try and keep that, that resignation here, and I want to pull up and in, opening back a little, and I'm going to pulse back a little. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to go ahead and bow forward. Let's flip it over and reach. If you can't put your forehead on the ground, I recommend. I think it's nicer. You can go a little further. And then I'll bring my hands to the floor. I'm going to go ahead and press up. And I'm going to take one shoulder and I'm going to bring it round and through. Yeah, like that. And then I'll switch. Round and through. Good job, guys. All right, then I'm going to take both hands to one side and I'm gonna lean back and draw. This is to kind of get a little bit of a lat stretch over here. And then while I'm here, I'm gonna take this elbow on the ground and I'm gonna open. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Over, I'm gonna reach and stretch. Yep, I'm gonna do English kick pose. And then I'll bring my elbow down and I'm gonna reach up and over. Good, move on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cross my ankles, sit myself down. And then take my legs out. Cool. Um, back on that pelvis thing. See how this is no good for anything. I want to sit on my pelvis. Also, when I've been doing computer work or playing with G on the floor, I've been putting a pillow. I'll show you. Under your pelvis, and it's it's only like cheating if you like do it if it's if it's not for the betterment of you overall. If it's like compensation, but this actually helps you sit on your tailbone if you have something under here sometimes. So I highly utilize that. Uh, I think I'm okay without it, but I already put it there, so I'm just going to leave it. So what I want to do is I want to sit on my tailbone. I'm going to pull my shoulders to where I'm stacked, and then I'm going to lean forward with my chest and back off. It's like somebody's showing me a cool thing, and I want to see, and then back off. I'm going to go four, three, three, I want to see, okay, two, without kind of leaning over too much, good. And then I'll go to my tighter side. Good practice to kind of get that hard one over with. And then instead of reaching as far as I can, what I'm going to ask you to do now is I'm going to reach you to grab behind your knee on that. I want you to give a little pull on that knee, and then I want you to like, don't, I mean, don't have to do it, but as if you were going to kiss your kneecap. I don't know if I can even can on my tight side, but I want you to bring your head towards it as if you were going to love it, because you should love it. It's yours. And then while you're here blocking your kneecap, can you point flex a little? And then I'll switch to the other side. And then I'll go around to the other side. I'm gonna go like full on like I did before, just a good start with. And then I'm gonna place my hand underneath my knee, blocking out any tightness. And then I'm gonna bring my lips towards my kneecap as if I were going to kiss it, although I'm not. And then I'm gonna go back the other direction, but I'm gonna reach up and over. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring either my elbow to the inside of my thigh, or if you can, bring your shoulder down and reach up and over. And then I'll bring myself back up, right? And then same thing, and we're slowly whittling away at any tightness here. So I'm gonna bring shoulder, or elbow or shoulder, and reach up and over. And then back up. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of cross my ankles. I'm gonna work on calves. I know calves have been kind of dubious. From some of you guys I got to talk to, I'm gonna go into all fours. And then I'm gonna push my bottom up. And then looking back, I'm gonna go ahead and pedal one calf. I'm gonna pull my belly button in still. I still want that to be like a cool habit. And then I'm gonna tread backwards a little. See if that feels better. And then I'm gonna tread myself in. And whatever one is like, you know what you need will speak to you. So I'll go to wherever I need. And then I wanna lift up to my tiptoes and press my heels back. Lift, and I'll go four, three, good, two, and one. I'm gonna take my feet apart, I'm gonna walk myself back, good. 
and I'm moving weights in towards my chest, I would soften these, make sure they're not locked out. Um, and with your eyes closed, if you want to, it's totally up to you, I'm gonna nod my head yes, I'm gonna shake my head no, and what I'm doing is I'm allowing the weight of my big brain to pull on these legs that hold me so steady. I'm gonna breathe, nod my head yes, I'm gonna exhale, sigh of relief for now. And one more time, and exhale. And then from here, with my soft knees, I'm gonna scoop up here, and I'm gonna roll myself up one vertebrae at a time. When I get to the top, I'm gonna reach my hands up, I'm gonna kneel, and I'm gonna go, and you guys are all done. You're probably standing. This is why I don't, I'm not concerned about the hairdresser, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Guys, thank you for being here this morning. Let's shut that off. Thanks for rolling with new stuff, old stuff. Uh, Katie got me these cool digs. So if you want some cool digs, ask Katie about them. <laughs> and I love you for being here. I know like you could sleep in or you could be making pancakes, but you're here and that's awesome. So thank you. You guys are the best. You're also muted. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Bye guys. Have a, Have a great weekend. Oh my gosh.